What's up? How are you guys? Another week down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another week of me needing a permanent vacation, but it's about as early in the video as we can get to complain, so I will stop there. Uh, we have, as always, a lot of new and exciting stuff for you guys, new products, a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to show you guys, and I probably won't remember half of them. <laughs> so definitely sign up for the newsletter on the Meat website. I mean, we've got a lot of new stuff on Oregon Supplements too, so I'll make sure to show you guys that and stuff. We got the Collagen Crisp bars. We just finished putting them away. Uh, duck is now available. For the first time, we have the broiler, so we have all different duck parts, breast, thighs, wings, all duck organs. Uh, a few new restocks. We got smoked brisket, which is completely new, just plain smoked brisket. Uh, we got the pastrami. We got pork bacon. We got a lot of different new smoked and cured products. The brisket is the latest. We'll show that in the fridge, too. Before we give you guys that tour, I did want to mention Please try to place a larger order with this summer heat, ideally like $150 for West Coast or like $125 for East Coast or Central. That's kind of like the minimum we're asking for right now, otherwise we might have to charge a little extra for ice. And more importantly, guys, please follow the instructions on the eggs. It says, please order eggs separately. So do not place eggs with the meat which people haven't really been doing that much, but on the foods website, if you can, please order the different type of eggs separately. You will have to pay extra shipping, but if you want duck eggs, quail eggs, chicken eggs, we can't really put them all in one box right now. It's very difficult to do, so um, try, try to order those separately if you guys can. So those are, those are the two major things. And uh, of course we got some chargebacks to complain about and some unfortunate circumstances that we'll talk about when we sit down to read the reviews. So just in here in the grocery store, we got some containers that we've been using for the collagen over here, which you guys have been buying a little bit of, not really that much. Uh, these are the organic jarred honey crisp apples. And over there are the organic jarred russet potatoes, very high quality organic glass jar. Nothing else like this on the market, guys. Healthiest apples you can get in a jar healthiest potatoes you can get. You don't have to cook them, just take them right out and eat them. Plenty of Mountain Valley water that we're rinsing jars with. This Spanish lady was coming by asking me for a job. I felt kind of bad. Middle-aged lady, didn't speak like a word of English. And I said, you know what? We, we got a lot of glass in. Uh, one, to do some Morgan supplements, new products. And we got a lot of glass in general, so. I've had this lady here for like <laughs> the past three days just cleaning glass for like eight hours straight. But I mean, if she needs a job and she doesn't mind, then I pay more than anyone else would for that type of work, so. Hopefully we're busy enough and we stay busy enough that I can continue to add more employees and, and support more people that really need it. Uh, yeah, no, so <laughs> now you guys know, I'm spending $500 plus a week in payroll and $1,000 plus a month in, in glass bottle of water to have all these jars rinsed. I'll actually show you them right here. What happens is when these jars come in from you know the commercial distributor, they have like an off chemical smell inside of them most of the time. So we got to clean every single glass jar and we rinse them with uh, glass bottle mineral water. These are all the, the other jars and the, the vials that she already rinsed. So every single one of these, you know, it's glass, but more importantly, the glass has been rinsed of any chemical residue. So I'm sure a lot of companies are packaging in glass, but they're not going that extra mile and cleaning out the glass before they package their product in it. Yeah, so this is the main promotional giveaway on organ supplements. If you guys place an order over $40, you can add one free collagen peptides to your order. This is kind of over like a $50 value because a lot of people charge like 50, 60, 70 dollars for one pound of collagen. I mean, we only charge 20 and on top of that, you know, we're gonna give it away with uh, any order over $40 this week. Just try to add it to your cart. So that's the big promotion on organ supplements. But on organ supplements, we've added so many new products lately. This is our zinc complex, magnesium complex, multi-mineral and multivitamin, very unique formulations that are the best quality and natural dosages that no one else has available on the market. You cannot get these if you wanted to. Even if you're paying like 60, 70 or $80, which these other companies would charge for supplements of this quality. Uh, also the vitamin K2, vitamin D3 and calcium in capsules are three other new products. So a ton of new stuff on organ supplements. We even have the probiotic in the fridge. That'll show you guys when we go in there. And I have a lot of unique and affordable stuff on all my businesses, guys, like Frankie's Naturals and Wi-Fi Shielding, which I don't even show you half the time. Like if you need that stuff, it's the best quality, unique products, and you can't, literally cannot buy them anywhere else. But 
Orient Supplements is even more special in a sense that almost like every single product on that website, you'll never find it anywhere else. Like the Flextros, the Lemon Light, uh, and then the prices we have on stuff, all the different formulations. Really, really special. I've used my knowledge of health and nutrition all these years to, to translate directly to me producing the formulations myself, whereas when other companies make supplements, they're just going by what the supplement company says. And it sounds crazy, but a lot of people that are selling health products or food products or supplements don't actually have an understanding of health and nutrition. Therefore, the product they make, they don't understand the dose, they don't understand what it should be, so who knows. So here's one of the new bars we have. These are called Collagen Crisp. This is chocolate hazelnut. And this is white chocolate macadamia nut. Now, these bars are delicious, I've tried them, but they're not up to like final formulation. So we're doing a discount. We're selling these bars for only like $2.50 each. They're still delicious, very nutrient dense, very calorically dense. It's just like the texture and sweetness is not 100% yet. If, if, but if these weren't good, I wouldn't be selling them, guys. So white chocolate, macadamia, collagen crisp, chocolate, hazelnut, collagen crisp, and of course we have all the other bars available. Tomi's cookies, guys, please buy these. And these cookie bars, I just made them like last week. I hope they don't go bad again and we have to throw them out, otherwise we might stop making them. All the best bars are in stock available. Berry, vanilla, chocolate. We got the granola bars here. Looks like we ran out of quinoa crisp and looks like we're running low on pemmican. Guys, please buy this beef jerky before I lose my mind. Please. Yeah, so that's all the non-perishable stuff, all the non-meat businesses. And we've been really, really behind, uh, although we have kind of caught up because of the freezer fiasco. I mean, we have a lot to catch up on, but I think this week and next week we should be fine. We've been using the Burkle Slicer for uh, the prosciutto and the ham lately, so I'll show you guys a little clip I took earlier of the Iberico ham to show you how nice and thin we can get it. Just wanted to show you guys how thin we're getting this Iberico ham on the Burkle Slicer. Really, really nice. If you guys tried the Iberico ham or the prosciutto before and you weren't 100% happy, we're doing it now in smaller portions, but it's a lot thinner. Look at that see right through it to the parchment paper. Yeah, so let's hop in the fridge and I'll show you guys that first. Or not, because it's dark. And there shall be light. All right, so the Iberico Belota is now available in two ounce portions, sliced very thin. And it's almost like you're eating twice as much of it because you know, if you can get the same slice half thickness and you eat 10 thin slices instead of like five thick slices, it feels like you're getting a lot more. So we've reduced the portion size on the, the ham so we can you know, sell it to you guys a lot less. Like this says $25, it's about half of that. It's like $12 now on the website for two ounce belota sliced very thin. We have four ounces of prosciutto sliced very thin. So again, same high quality San Daniel prosciutto. I'm so tempted to bring this home for breakfast and crush the whole thing. So this is, I think it's a little cheaper than on the website. I think it's around $10 for maybe even less for the San Daniel ham sliced very thin. And the only one that's not sliced thin yet is the Sebo which is the Iberico ham of a different quality. So I actually reduced the price on the website to like $15 for this, just to discount it, to, to move out the rest of it, and then we'll, uh, we'll have everything sliced thin. So right now the Belota and the Prosciutto are sliced thin, and we're gonna have the Sebo sliced thin after we move out these orders. For the fresh meat selection this week, guys, you better buy this fresh meat, because I'm, I'm gonna actually stop doing it. <laughs> we got fresh bone and ribeye steaks, and we got fresh porterhouse steaks. The local ground beef is a lot fattier than normal. So if you guys have them buying the local ground beef and it's, and it's too lean for you, this is your chance to stock up. The cows, a lot of times guys, these grass-fed cows, they're never this fatty. They're never this fatty. So unaged beef, high quality, low histamine. If you wanna stock up on this local ground beef, this is your chance, high, very, very high fat. And then we got all the new cured products. So this is beef bacon, cured and smoked. This is the new one, the beef brisket, smoked brisket. So we have pastrami, 
beef pastrami over here, which I like more because of the spice blend, but we just did a plain salt smoked brisket. So just salt, brine, smoke the brisket. Uh, I figured a lot of you guys would like that more. Up here we have the pork bacon. Iberico pork smoked bacon, decent amount of that. And here we just have way too much of everything. That's like the smoked brisket, that's all the pastrami, that's all the beef bacon. So guys, I reduced the price on like everything, like the beef bacon, the pastrami, and the smoked brisket are really cheap. They're only like $16 a pound, which for this high quality grass-fed product is unheard of. You know, the other companies, even Whole Foods, will sell for double the price, but I don't want this to go bad. You know, it's only good for like, I don't know, a month and a half, two months in the fridge, so I wanna make sure that we move all this out and then I make less of a batch next time. Yeah, so this is all the really special stuff this week. We got the really thinly sliced, high quality hams. We have all the super artisanal smoked products and then we got the local ground beef. No one else is selling anything like this online, guys, especially at this price. All the cheeses are in stock for the most part. All the local raw grass with A2A2 dairy ready to ship out. And here's that probiotic I was talking about. There is a cold shipping option if you guys want me to ship this cold or if you want to take the risk in the summer, hey. Maybe wait a few months with your messed up gut to save 20 bucks. And over here we have all of the eggs. So if you guys please uh, place a duck egg order. I'm trying to support my duck farmer and make sure that uh, we keep the product moving. So I reduced the price on the duck eggs even though we're kind of breaking even. But yeah, I wish I wasn't wearing shorts because the freezer is working really well now. It's like zero degrees and it's like, like 90 degrees and sunny outside, which means that you know, we're good. We're kind of go with the freezer now with the new foam and stuff, but I'm wearing my shorts because, and I actually just threw this on in here. I was sweating my guts out so much working in the warehouse the past two days. I said, I got to put a t-shirt and shorts on. Otherwise I'm just, I just don't feel good. So, uh, oh, that also reminds me, we got to switch over to the phone before we uh, go in the freezer because the, uh, it's going to fog up the lens. Hey guys, so definitely go on the website and look on the main page to see all the new stuff, but I'll try to show you guys everything now. Should we do it in the dark? That'd be real fun. This looks like the, uh, the Iberico pork tenderloin we restocked. This is some of the new duck product that we have. These are the duck legs. Those look delicious. Those look amazing. We got some duck liver and heart. We got some duck wings. These are cool. Duck wings. Duck feet. These are the whole ducks. As you guys can see, like these five pound ducks, a lot larger than the laying ducks that we're selling. And then the infamous duck breast, the prized possession, the favorite of everyone, corn and soy free duck breast at the most affordable price online. Yeah, so we got a lot of new stuff over here. I guess we'll try to go through everything. We got some bone and ribeye steaks back in stock. These look really good. Those look amazing, bone and ribeye steaks. A lot of that local ground beef we just threw in the freezer. A lot of stuff over here, guys. We got all the beef bacon back in stock. Oh, what's really special, lamb brains. I think we've been sold out of lamb brains for like two years. We finally got some back in. So we have lamb brains in two brain portions available. That's the one pound beef belly. I think over here is some lamb picanha. So we have those small, cute lamb picanhas in the portions. Yeah, this is all lamb picanha. One pound veal testicles back in stock. Here's a lot more of the duck. So there's plenty of duck legs over there. Even more duck legs over there. Lamb stew meat is restocked, as well as the ground lamb. And then there's just more duck over here. All the whole dogs, the duck feet, all that duck stuff. Uh, this is a little promotion we're doing. We might give these away. Our supplier had an overstock of New York strip steaks. If you guys want a really good price, this is like, I think the steaks are 10 ounces each and they come in a pack of two. The beef pet food is back available. We had some issues with the packaging, but this looks a lot better than the previous one. Venison Denver steaks back available in stock. That's the pet food again. We got some marrow butter. 
we didn't run out of that, but we got some. Some of the vet steaks, some chicken skins are back in stock, and then we restocked some chicken as well. Chicken breasts, chicken heads, all the cuts of chicken are back in stock, as well as the veal liver. Great that the freezer works. Bad thing is that when it's zero degrees in here, I am freezing. We need to be in the full cold suit for that. I think there's a few things I forgot to mention. We got all, all the duck stuff available. That's really special. And it's actually like lower priced than everywhere else online, but it's corn and soy free. So you should be paying double. Like the regular conventional GMO feedlot duck is the same price as what I'm charging, which is kind of crazy and shows that I'm going to probably lose my mind and give up and just uh, sleep with like three Colombian girls a day for the rest of my life next year. And just and that's probably when you get when that happens, you guys will know why. I'm too good of a person to be running a business. So got all that duck in stock, that's really special. All the fresh beef is available. Oh, I didn't show you guys the, we got the blood back. I think we have a lot of blood. He sent me like 200 pounds of blood. Yeah, it's, yeah, we got like six crates of it. I got six crates of blood here, guys. Glass bottle, mineral water, rinsed jars with fresh beef blood straight from the Amish farm. This is $8 a jar, you guys have no idea. Um, guys, when you support the fresh beef and the local beef and stuff, it's important because this guy's charging me for this broth, which honestly, like the broth he sends me, it doesn't turn out as gelatinous as the collagen broth. It's still really good beef stock. So I'll actually use his broth for recipes like the steak sauce has a lot of beef broth in it. Um, so I'll just keep that in mind. It's, you know, it's going to, going to the, the money is going to the hands of the right people. So we got the duck, we got the fresh beef. The lamb brains is, is a huge restock. I'm just not hyping it up that much because I'm not sure if you can get more. Like what we have now, which is, I don't know, I think a few hundred pounds, it's, it's fairly limited. So I'm a little worried that we might not be able to get more. Let me switch back over the camera. Yeah, guys, I'll make sure to put all the new stuff at the top of the website, frankiestrangemeat.com. Also put those new college and crisp bars at the top on the foods website. And uh, we have all the new stuff on top of the Oregon Supplements website. That's that, And that's promotion for Oregon Supplements is very special because we're going to give away a free collagen. And hey, even if your order is large enough, you also get the free Kratom pill with your order. So huge, huge giveaway promotion. Uh, yeah. Might be a few weeks, but I think we'll be able to get some new Naturals products in. The restock on the organ supplement stuff like the thyroid and uh, and male virility. That's going to happen before that. As we're walking over here, I'll show you guys the potato chips again. The highest quality organic potatoes fried in Wagyu beef tallow and organic coconut oil, depending on your preference. We have sea salt, salt and vinegar, and mushroom. So three flavors for each. Very, very unique, guys. Uh, I'll probably throw these in the freezer um, if you guys don't really buy them that quickly just so they stay a little fresher. All right, so this lady really pissed me off. Uh, to sum it up, California order, two and a half days in transit, which is perfectly typical. You know, we ship it on Tuesday. It arrives to her by Friday morning. So it's shipped Tuesday evening to arrive Friday morning. About two and a half days in transit. I mean... Most of the time, these packages will last three, four, even five days with the amount of dry ice we put in. This lady in California, which I'm probably breaking even on the order already, you know, this lady has placed like seven or eight orders, all basically the minimum for California. So I've broken even on each one. And this eighth order, well, yes, thank you for placing eight orders with me, but not this one. She denied the package. So the package gets to her place on Friday and she says, oh, the meat's going to be bad. Send it back. And then, so I'm like, hold on. First of all, it's a totally normal transit time, okay? She did not click the tracking link. Maybe she just looked at her order confirmation email and thought that was the date it was shipped. Absolutely not. So this lady turned away a perfectly good box of meat, said send it back. But what's the logic in that? If the meat's, if you think the meat is bad by the time it gets to you, then why would it be okay to send it back to me? <laughs> like, open it up, take a picture so you have proof. I still haven't gotten the package back yet. And the next day, this lady filed a charge back. Really, really pissed me off. Really pissed me off. Like, 
Th these are the type of people I'm dealing with. Like, if that happens, you take the package, you open it up, you take a photo, the FedEx guy stands there for two minutes, and you give him the box back, okay? Look, like, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. What the else did this lady say to me? I'm not reading her email. That It's just really irritating. That's one of the first times something like that has ever happened. But now what? I'm at $200? And only 200 though. Only 200 bucks Because I'm also out $700 because FedEx lost a package. First time customer. $700 order. $700. And I was very suspicious of this. Because first time customer, $700 order, package gets lost. I was gonna wait to refund it to see if package uh, to see if FedEx refunds me, but I, I just instantly issued the guy the refund anyway, which I probably shouldn't have done. It's a, a disgusting amount of money. Like I'm I'm down here killing myself se seven days a week for the past. I've, I've basically worked seven days a week for the past eight years of my life to be dealing with this. Like hopefully FedEx get approves the claim and gives me the seven hundred dollars back, but that that is. Hasn't happened too often, honestly, mostly just chargebacks and stuff, but I can't be taking thousand dollar losses on my that thousand bucks right there. Thousand dollars right there. How crazy is that? I should just go I should be at the strip club every night dropping three hundred dollars. Like, I don't understand. How can it's in, I've lost probably a thousand plus dollars every week of my business for God knows how long. <laughs> I'm not getting into this today. I'm gonna lose my shit. Let's read some reviews. Oh, this, this, oh, another lady. This lady, first time customer, of course, emails me about the dairy. I still haven't received my refund from you, my order. No expiration dates, curdled milk, sour smelling. Is that why I sent out 300 bottles of the same exact milk to 100 other customers that week and not one of them complained? Is it also weird that that Amish kid was milking the cows the morning before I sent you your order? You guys are, holy shit, I can't. I can't deal with this shit. Some of these people, and I know they're. Just, I know it's like a group of organized people that are being hired by corporations. So next time you go to Costco, next time you go to your local grocery store, you know, the people you're supporting are the ones that are doing this shit to me. Just understand that. Understand that. Uh, five star view for the Iberico ham, Hamon Iberico, fit for royalty. No exaggeration. This was crazy luxurious. I couldn't stop vacuuming the slices down like a wild beast, and my elderly ma and dad totally loved it too. This stuff is straight luxury and as clean as it gets. The price is understandable because so much goes into raising of this superb meat, which I could vacuum these down daily. And th guys, that price we charge for that Iberico ham is like half of anywhere else. If you buy that stuff in a restaurant, 50, 60, 70 dollars a plate minimum, we're charging like 12 bucks. So it's very, very special that you can get that product at that price. Restaurant markups to me is insane. Five star view for raw cow's milk Irish cheddar. Another excellent product. We've been purchasing cheddar cheeses from Frank since the inception. The Irish cheddar is a delicious alternative to the American cheddar. It's more mild but cheesy flavor than American. We've eaten it alone as a snack with crackers with sourdough bread. It's absolutely delicious. As with, mo as with most cheeses that Frank sells, my biggest problem is I can't stop eating it. Five star view for the grass fed beef bacon. Greatly exceeded my expectations. I don't exactly have a sophisticated palate nor the vocabulary to hide the fact, but the beef bacon married what I know and love about the finest bacon and a good steak into one very satisfying compliment to my Saturday milk, to my Saturday buttermilk pancake with fried eggs. Glad you guys enjoy it. So we restocked the raw beef bacon slices. We restocked the one pound beef belly chunks, and we restocked the one pound sliced smoked and cured beef bacon so we have like a lot of different types of beef bacon and we usually sell the whole slabs too so a little too much five star view for the male virility well we're, we're almost out of this great i feel so much more energized after taking this supplement my loins feel alive in a way they have not before definitely buying again that's on organ supplements our male virility we only have a few left as i said but uh we should have more soon five star view for the a2a2 A2 raw ice cream high quality the best ice cream I've ever tried, hands down. The flavor has a very good kick from the raw milk cream that is particularly sourced, and is perfectly sweetened to a tea. The best way to describe it is like awaking from a lifelong dream, and finally experiencing the epitome of true dairy. We'll order again in the future. And then we have a very long review for the organic lemon honey sorbet. Delicious. 
You can tell the first bite it's made with top-notch ingredients. Great for a sweet treat whenever. Very hydrating as well with the mineral water as the base ingredient. Highly recommend putting it into the freezer for a couple hours before even trying. Extra game changer before digging in. Very bold lemon taste, but still palatable and enjoyable. Don't be surprised about the lemon kick. Sweetness is basically nailed to a tea. Both the lemon and sugar ratio are well balanced with each other. Perfect smooth icy texture after freezing a bit extra. Well formulated. Size, pretty good portion size and price when you consider the high quality ingredients used and the bold sweet taste. Great start for this product, yeah. I think next batch of sorbet we do, instead of honey, I'm gonna use the, the Flextrose, the organic glucose. And uh, like you guys have no idea. I think I said this in the past vlog. I had five people juicing lemons for two hours straight to make that lemon sorbet. It is not cheap to do. It is very expensive to make and the highest quality ingredients and it's a really special product so I'm happy we're doing it. We might just do lemon. Maybe maybe we'll do some other, We could, I mean we could do some other, other sorbets in the future. I think I think orange would be the next one where because you juice the oranges, you take the zest and you make the sorbet with it. Other fruits and stuff. I could buy organic like pineapple juice and like all types of organic juices, but those are pasteurized and I don't know, like I guess we could like pasteurized juice in the bottle even if it's organic, like the highest quality, all those different flavors. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just have sorbet made with the fresh squeezed fruit um, and it's just not... Uh, it's not cost. It's, you can't do that with like grapes and apples and stuff. You'd go broke. Ju you'd go broke. I'd go broke juicing apples and grapes. I could try it once, and charge whatever price I need to to break even. But as a long term thing, I'm not sure if I'm like what the demand for this type of product is going to be. Like, yeah, I, lemon. I like to do. Love to do a grape sorbet. Definitely orange. Probably apple. So I'd love to have like four, like three or four different sorbet flavors. And we might actually do it because. My dairy farmer has been having a difficult time keeping up with the butter and cream production. So, And the ice cream sales aren't that great because it's not like the, a perfect recipe. So as much as I like to sell out of the ice cream and have him make more, I don't think that's really possible right now. Uh, but the, the next batch of ice cream we do is going to be like phenomenal. Hopefully out of this world. So instead, since the, the ice cream inventory is fine, we, we might uh, do a, a few sorbet flavors over the next few weeks. Uh, actually... I'm, I'm almost out of the flex show stuff, so you know what? Probably not, now that I'm thinking about it. Never mind. Maybe and that'll be two months from now, who knows. But yeah, guys, it's it's 5.30 on uh, Sunday, and I haven't eaten yet today, so I'm not having too much fun. Just wrap this vlog up and uh, get home and eat something. So we, we kind of went over everything for you guys. I'll say it again, each of the websites. All can be seen on frank com. So if you, you'll see Frankie's syringe meat where you have all these high quality meat products that no one else is selling at amazing prices, of course. A lot of restocks. If you guys have been waiting for something, definitely check the website. Frankie's syringe foods, organic potatoes just back in stock. College and Chris bars new. Special discounted price because we can't nail down the recipe yet. They, they'll probably be three or three fifty each when we nail down the recipe. We got all the new supplements on Oregon Supplements and guys that, that probiotic is really special. Any of these other off the shelf probiotics are not formulated correctly. So I'm happy we have that now. I could use it myself. Don't have to worry about when I'm going out to eat or when I'm eating. Frankie's Naturals, nothing new yet. Uh, hopefully in a few weeks. But we do have some relatively new recent stuff like the marrow cream, the beef butter, and, and I gotta make more of the cavity cure. I forgot I have to make more for you guys. Uh, Wi-Fi shielding, pretty much everything's available besides the canopies. We will be restocking the Wi-Fi shielding canopy soon. And uh, I think that's all the businesses. So, guys, again, frank .com. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to drop a like a video. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Check that notification bell. Send the video to all your random friends so they buy stuff from me. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next video. If I don't <clears throat> get locked up in a Russian princess's golden palace in Moscow.